One of four horse portraits. Wow. Wow. That's exciting. Good for you. So you have to get four horse portraits done before Christmas? CLJ, how do I know Stephanie? Stephanie's my wifey. My beautiful wifey. All right, so I'm going to start off blocking in the darks inside the nostril. You're a little gobsmacked yourself, but it will be done. That's right. <laughs> That is right. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I have to do, finish this one, another one, and two more before, before Christmas, so. Your friends would stay, yeah, that's great. That's right, Siljay, very good. I'm glad you're friends with my wifey. Stat Kusk. Hello, thank you. How are you, Stat Kusk? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that okay. What have you been up to, Silje? I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, J, J, S. What's up, man? It's good to see you again. I saw you earlier. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Yes, it's mandatory to take a break. You are right. And I'm looking forward to a break and just enjoy the holidays. Definitely. Are you going to take a, a break, Jay? I hope so. Yes, I do live with my wife in New Jersey. Yes. Crazy work ethic? Ah, yeah, you, you have to. If it's your own business, you have to. No one else is going to take care of it. Coffee, coffee arhin. I am from, I am coffee and watching your video. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you watching. Okay, let's uh, add more darks, block in these shadows, these wrinkles and crevices. Make sure that it is all mapped out before I start shading in the rest. What time is it here? It is 2.08 p.m. Did you get any new? Yes, my favorite color is still red. You have a very good memory, Siljay. p.m. Wow. Where is, what time is, there's a Sweden, there's England. What time is it in England if you're still on? It's 
7 p.m. for Andrea. Andrea's working on a horse commission in cold England. <laughs> Very cold, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna start adding in some shadows around the nostril. Start creating some depth. It's 1 p.m. in Texas. You're just an hour away. You're an hour in the past. <laughs> Time zone still, like, confuses me, I don't know. It's like people are in the future. That's right, see, look at that, Jay, you and I, we, we said it, like, at the same time. That's crazy coincidence. It feels that I'm normal without music, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like to draw without music. Also because I'm streaming and when I use music on YouTube, it blocks me. It's copyrighted music and it blocks my videos and that's not fun. I've tried some ambient music from YouTube and that's great, but I'm getting tired of it. I've played a lot. They need to put on some more or add more cop copy free, royalty free ambient music. Time zone is man made if you ask me, huh? Yeah. What kind of phone do I have? Uh, an iPhone. Indian Inforce, hello, thank you. How are you, Indian Inforce? I'm jumping around a lot because I'm looking at the reference photo and I draw what I see and wherever my eye lands that's what I end up drawing and it's just good to move around a little bit so you get the whole gist of the area you're working on so you see the whole picture at once So I'm just gonna add some texture, just moving my pencil all around in different circles, just creating these intricate patterns. You're eating chocolate, oh, I'm jealous. I want some chocolate. Hey Jay, were you able to ship your uh, other drawings. Just move your pencil randomly and textures will magically appear. Somehow it all works out. Oh, good. I'm glad you're able to ship it. What are you working on now? Or are you taking a break? 
Oh, you're delivering one. Like in person? Still, Jay, thank you. I appreciate that. It's getting there. It's getting there. My goal is to finish it, finish, it, finish this doggy by tomorrow. That's my goal. So you guys have to keep me accountable. Oh, someone near you. Okay. Cuckoo. Yeah, I've had to do that a couple of times. Personal delivery. Local customers. Yes, I know Jay Scott. He's a fellow TikTok artist. You should follow him too, Sil Jay. He's, he does awesome work. Jay, uh, type in your TikTok uh, name so Seal Jay can follow you. I'm going to work out that hit pit bull and horse hard. Try to get the pit. Okay. All right. Sounds good. There you go. Jay just shared his TikTok. Sil Jay, follow him too. He, he does great work. He's ambitious, he's hardworking, he's a hustler. That's what I like. He's getting stuff done. And Silja, you should share your uh, TikTok too. You guys should follow each other. Support each other. Spread the love, you know? Saber! Hello, Saber. How are you, Saber? It's good to see you again. You're kind of, you're finishing a pit by tomorrow, kind of tired of looking at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> then take a break. You need your breaks. You're not going to be at your best when you're tired of looking at something. Oh, Sil J just followed you, Jay. Thank you, Sil J. So there is a highlight on top of the nose, so I'm just going to create some kind of stippling textures because I don't want to fill it in. I don't want to shade it too dark because it is a highlight. Do some dotting action. Okay, Silje. See you later. You're doing good, Saber. Nice. I missed the last few streams since the time zones. Yeah, I know. What time is it over there for you? It's hard to accommodate all of the different time zones, that's for sure. Nine eighteen p.m. Okay, all right. That's uh, 
That's a fairly decent hour. Yeah, I've been streaming kind of later in the night because uh, it's like it's quieter and my dog is tired. She's not whining to go out. So it's just working out that way. Wing Z. Siljay's, uh, apparently Siljay's new TikTok name is Wingsy. Saber, where are you from again? I, 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 for, I can't keep track of everybody's whereabouts. I mean, that's, I say Siljay, Saber, Saber, sorry, Saber. Finland, Finland. Oh, you're the one who asked for the Loki landscape? Is that right? Am I getting you mixed up with somebody else? Loki, oh, Coley. <laughs> I went dyslexic on that one. Coley, yes. You know what? I actually looked that landscape up. It's beautiful landscapes by, um, I forget the artist's name. Uh, but he has like a few of them. So like the named the same title. So I'm not sure which Coley landscape you wanted me to um, render as a tutorial. Can you describe it more? Cause they all kind of look the same. I'm assuming cause it's like the same view. Yes, I have on live twice, Siljay, yes. It was nice to see you in my other one. I'm trying to go live more. Uh, because I actually get a lot of a lot of my drawing done when I'm going live. And it's nice to talk to people. Okay, Siljay. NGU Venus, hello. I'll just call you Venus. How are you, Venus? All right, that looks pretty good. Just my first layer. I will add more details later. I'm all about adding layers and layers. Just want to keep blocking out the rest of this. I guess the famous view looking down on the islands, since that's the one I tried to draw once before. The famous view looking down on the islands. Okay. Yes, there were a couple of those. So I guess it, it has a water, right? It has a tree in the foreground. So as long as it's looking down on the islands, that's the one you're talking about. Can't find the TikTok. Oh, no. I think the whole, yeah, that's a heart. It's wingsy. It's like underscore, underscore, underscore wingsy. Well, if you look at your recently followed um, alerts, you'll see wingsy's uh, tag name. Lots of textures in this nose. This cute, cute nose. Oh, you, oh, cool. That's cool, Venus. You found me looking up Prismacolor pencils. Very nice. Yes, this, I love Prismacolor. 
Um, it's working out for me. I need to try um, other colored pencils, but I like the texture of it and the weight of it. I can get really nice details with it. So try it out. Try it out. Thanks for joining. And thank you. Are your work like artist? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Siljay. You really like writing books? Is that what you mean? If so, that's awesome. We need more writers in the world. Oh, Jay can't find your username, so Jay. And Jay, if you just look at your most recent followers, so Jay should be up there. Wingsy should be up there. Boxers have very distinct markings. I have to make sure I capture them correctly according to this boxer's features. Oh, you're private, Siljay. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why he can't find you. Got it. Oh, I gotta sharpen my pencil. Muri, Muri290, Zedrasti Pedal. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What language is that? Charlie, hello, Charlie, what's up? Charlie, how are you? It's so good to see Charlie always. Still adding some textures. So there is a highlight in this area. So let's capture it slowly but surely. You heard now that I saw I were oh I'm live, yes. 
That's nice to hear. Nice to read that you're good. Ah, thank you, Venus. Thank you, Siljay. Well, I am happy that you guys are here as well. It gives me energy, you know? It's like I could feel your energy through the phone, <laughs> if that's even possible. So lots of intricate markings on the nose. So take your time to capture it all. Oh, uh, no, CLJ, we didn't adopt um, our daughter, not yet. Hopefully one day. She's a foster daughter right now. It's all good. She's uh, with her grandparents, so it's all good. Charlie's practicing his boxer drawings. Not going very well, but you can at least see it's a boxer. Nice. Well, you know what? As long as you're practicing, Charlie, that's what matters. Practice is progress. I'm happy you're uh, still at it and uh, working your craft. It doesn't have to always be perfect. Actually, nothing is per perfect. I've learned that in the 43 years of my life. <laughs> Do I know everyone here? Uh, not everybody. Venus is new. I haven't met Venus before. Um, trying to look back. Uh, I think everybody else I know. Daryl, I don't know if you're still on. I know I've seen Daryl before. Andrea, I've seen before. Jay, I've seen. You, of course. Charlie, I mean, uh, Charlie, of course. And of course, you, Silja. There are some people on... On Twitch, Saber, I know. So it's all good. It's nice to see a con consistent faces, consistent, um, a consistent audience. Gives me a warm feeling, you know. You know. And there's probably some people on that aren't saying hi, not yet. And of course, I know my wife. <laughs> she supports me. Yes, I can come back when I'm 43 and see how much progress I've made. <laughs> That's right, Charlie. Yes, that is right. You will see so much progress when you're 43. <laughs> You have so much time ahead of you. It's amazing. I'm glad you're taking advantage in uh, practicing now. I wished I practiced more as a child. I would be so much better now. <laughs> but hey, no regrets, no regrets. I'm practicing now. I'm working my craft now. So I'm adding these um, wrinkles in the nose right now. Very, very tight, intricate wrinkles or indents in the nose. I wouldn't call it wrinkles. Doing my best looking at my uh, reference photo, constantly looking at my photo. 
And then somehow my hand follows and leads the way. Ooh, I got all deep there, whoa. <laughs> Venus, how long have I been streaming? Not long, actually. I've maybe consistently a month and a half, maybe. Well, on it depends, I guess. On YouTube, a month and a half. On Twitch, a month. And then on TikTok, I've been on and off for a year, I guess. So I'm all over the place. Charlie, why do I have to practice? <laughs> oh, Charlie, you... Oh, I have to practice. You don't understand. There's still so much I have to learn. I met this uh, um, very talented oil painter on Twitch the other the other couple of weeks ago, and she's amazing. Uh, her name is Catherine, and I saw her paintings, and I'm like, whoa. Whoa, she's my new hero. So yeah, I want to learn how to do oil paintings like her. Yeah, so much to learn. Can you imagine doing oil paintings of boxers? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, so Sa Saber, I took a photo of my nearby lake with my camera and now I'm thinking of trying to draw it. Should I go for colored pencil only? Oh, you should do whatever you feel will work best. Is it a very colorful photo? If yes, do colored pencils. If it's more monotone, then go for black and white. And you could also do both eventually if you wanted to, just to see uh, how you capture them in those different mediums. That's kind of cool, actually, to do that. It's like as a, as a project. You know? I would love to see a black and white version and a colored version, if you want. No pressure. All about, all about art, hello. How are you? How long will I have been streaming? Um, maybe, what the, I've only, oh wow, it's already 36 minutes. Maybe another hour, an hour, hour and a half. You like dogs. Oh yeah, I love dogs. Dogs are the best. And there's so many uh, breeds of them. That's the thing, there's so much variety. It's like, and then they they keep breeding other other breeds. It's like never ending. Advertisers against Twitch. Oh, oh, also against. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. I don't. I don't know who this person is. My best friend is a really big fan of you. Can you please follow her on TikTok? Her name is Roblox Draw. Sure, of course. That would be my pleasure. Anything for you, Silje. That is no problem. Actually, let me write her name down before I forget. So, underscore Rob. Blocks. Draw. Okay, I got it. You're the only one by. That's right, Charlie, yes. I'm sure other um, paw parents are buying gifts for their fur babies. I'm buying a, a gift for my fur baby, for my Bella, for my Bellanese boxer. She's gonna get some treats and maybe some toys that she chews up in five minutes. Yeah, great investment. <laughs> I swear, like I should just give her used 
cardboard boxes. That's what she loves to play with the most. I spend like $15 on chew toys. It's done in like five minutes or she gets tired of them. Yeah, she's a punk. I love her though. You're welcome, Siljay. What are you gonna get your fur babies, Charlie? Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me add some texturing around here. Ah, oh, thank you, Charlie. Yes, she is. She's a spoiled little, little punk. But yes, she is <laughs> lucky. <laughs> uh, it's my fault that she's spoiled because I love her to death. You gotta spoil your fur babies, right? They give you so much love. some and fill in some of these markings these beautiful boxer markings I love how it's like really dark here and then it turns pink right here it's so cool it's like how does that happen Your mom is teaching you how to draw nice. That's awesome. Your cat will get treats and a toy. Nice, Chris, uh-huh. He's like your son because he was so tiny. Yep, yep, that's right. Oh yes, Saber, photography is insanely expensive. It's definitely a good investment though to practice your craft, but yes, it's crazy expensive. But you can get so much out of it in the long run. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for the fire. Christopher Clayton, hello. We have the most spoiled baby in the canine world. Our honey boo boo Clayton is a beautiful brinder, brindle, seven and a half years old, but loves to still play. Nice. Yep. That's right. I'm assuming Clayton is a boxer if he's still playful at seven. Christopher Clayton, yes, I am going after hyper realistic drawings. I'm still learning, but yes, that is my goal. Saber, do you have an Instagram where I could see some of your photography? If so, put it in the chat. Of course, of what? Of course, I'm gonna mention you, Christopher. What is this epic F P V A Z? Thank you, Christopher. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm definitely working off a photo. This is a Christmas commission. And it's, uh, 
I can't really say the name because it's a surprise and I don't want to give it away. It's my you? What? It's my you. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, it's your YouTube. Got it. You fly drones for fun. Nice. What? Ooh, I gotta check you out. I, I want a drone. And honey loves them, really. She's not scared of them, huh? You hate Fridays, Sil J? Why? Fridays, Fridays are great. So let's add, start adding some textures on the other side. She chases them nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. I hope you have video of that. I want to see what that looks like. I want to see boxers chase drones. Oh my gosh. That's one way to exercise them. My boxer would just be scared of them. <laughs> But not this one, because you vent. <laughs> okay. All right, Silja. Is my wife still on the live? I don't think so. I think she left. She left me. <laughs> I think she's taking care of our Bella. Our boxer, she's uh, getting antsy. I heard her scratch on the door earlier, so I think she's going to take her for a walk. So I can uh, continue working which I appreciate. She carries them back home in her mouth, proud as it can be, then she will sleep with them in her mouth all night. Nice. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. They are tiny, maybe 45 GMs with plastic ducts. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I was wondering about that, like how safe it was for her. Save, saber. It was a bundle and older model, so I saved money there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, definitely good to save money. I don't have a dedicated Instagram for that yet because I have done only a couple of shoots. Okay. Do you have an Instagram? Oh, my Bella, no, no, she's never gotten an ear infection, uh, knock on wood, but she has been bitten <laughs> in the ears that took forever to heal. Um, yeah, why does your honey get a lot of ear infections? I slept with your cat every night, oh, okay. Oh, I want to be a boxer, Charlie, definitely. 
They have the best life. Definitely. My boxer loves to run. She's like a greyhound at the dog park. I want to be able to run like that. So there is a highlight around here, so I'm just dabbing the paper for very short, short fur details to preserve that highlight. Yeah. Oh no, she got one. She definitely thinks she's human. <laughs> nice. As all boxers do. As all boxers do. They are definitely our human fur babies. I love how my boxer sits on the couch and she stares at you like, where's my where's my dinner, mom? It's on it's 4 30, where's my dinner? Saber, you have one, but I am planning to make a new account for photos. Okay. Alright, yes. Awesome, Sabe. Thank you. Yes. Start one soon. I want to see these photos that you take. Right? It, yep. That's right, Christopher. <laughs> they have the most funny, funny um, quirks. I love it. I will be a boxer owner forever. I'm actually on my second boxer right now and we're thinking of getting another dog. So I'm kind of wanting another boxer, but I don't know. We'll see. They're expensive now. Oh my gosh. Yup. The where is my dinner look. That's right. It's kind of crazy. And they know exactly when dinner time is. I don't even have to look. It's like 4.30 on the spot, whining. The boxer, you know, that boxer whine. It's like, mommy, um, <laughs> I, haven't in, I haven't eaten in weeks. I won't forget, Siljay. I, I will. I promise I will follow your bestie. You're awesome for looking out for her or him. You always say if I was ever to let anything happen to honey, I wouldn't even dare to come. Aw, nice. Same, same, brother. Same here, yep. They just have that way of capturing our hearts, right? Her, okay. Okay, Silje. I will follow your bestie. Don't worry. I got you, Silje. I got you. I think it's time to sharpen my pencil. Don't forget to sharpen your pencils to get very intricate details in. I'm gonna finish this area just to block out these markings.
So this boxer has very tiny whiskers that really close together. So I'm gonna do my best to capture them slowly but surely. Christopher, um, is this your first boxer? If you're still online. Okay, CJ, bye. Thanks for joining for a little bit. Actually, for an hour. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking about introducing a new boxer property before honey. Yeah, definitely. I say do it. Do it, do it. And honey cannot can mentor her or him and keep someone keep her company. Render up more whiskers. Your wife already told you can't get another breed. Has to be female. Has to be brindle or seal, and can can have her tail down, but not the ears. Yep. Yeah, definitely not the ears. I mean. Why? The ears are the best part. The floppy ears? That is the best part. Yeah, brindles are beautiful. My baby's my tiger brindle. Call her my tiger. Mini, mini Mac. Hello, it's good to see you. I followed you on Instagram, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. You draw landscapes and cereal. Uh, uh, I can't read. Cereal. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah. Suri is, oh my gosh, my words. You know, I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> my brain is not working today. Yes, yes, I like that stuff. <laughs> Who's your favorite uh, artist? All right, Saber, have a good night. Thanks for joining for a little bit. When you were young, I don't, anyone teaching hyper-realistic drawings. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe not on YouTube, but maybe at school. Oh, I learned, I went to art school, Christopher. I majored in illustration, and I'm actually still learning hyper-realism. I only became a full-time artist about uh, three and a half years ago, so I still have a lot to learn. Dolly, yep. Dolly's awesome. I like his stuff too. 
you're old. <laughs> there was no internet. <laughs> uh, yep. And now internet is everywhere. It's kind of crazy. It's like everyone has the ability to have their own TV show on the internet. You are infatuated with hyper-realistic? Me too, man. Me too. Minimac, are you still there? How are you? Are you drawing, Minimac? Ah, uh, yes. It takes mucho, mucho hours to... to... yeah to do hyper-realism, definitely. But if that's what you want to do, I think it's worth it. It brings me so much joy when I accomplish something that's hard and challenging. Do you, I yes, I actually do hold private lessons. I have a Patreon if you want to check out my Patreon. Just look up uh, Victoria Veluz on Patreon. I have some different tiers. You could just, for just six bucks a month, you can get all of my real-time drawings. Uh, I started posting more of my real-time drawings all my lives. And you can see my full process. And I also have um, private one-on-one -on -one lessons as a tier. So yeah, check it out. Check it out. Spell the last name. Um, uh, V-E-L-U-Z. Oh, okay. Good. There you go. Yay. Yeah, check it out. See if it's for you. Again, I'll be posting more soon. I have um, a couple of tutorials on there now, but I'm going to consistently post more tutorials, more real-time drawings. Because it's hard to learn uh, with time-lapse videos, which I see a lot on YouTube. You need the, the real-time stuff, you know? Sure, you're welcome. Do I do landscapes? Uh, I have in the past. I can I can uh, do some landscape tutorials. I actually, um, that's funny you mentioned that I, I've cut back on my commissions after the holidays and I'm going to do more of my, um, my own stuff and other subject matter and landscapes. That, that's definitely on my bucket list. <laughs> Time lapse is heartless. It's just a teaser. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, it's um, it's a teaser. Sometimes it's really cool to watch to see the whole process because people's attention spans, you know, they're very short. It's like 15 seconds and they're out, you know, but you can't really learn much in 15 seconds. What would be hyper-realistic? The landscapes or? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I want to do hyper-realistic um, colored pencil landscapes, uh, paintings, even black and white. 
Yes, definitely graphite, definitely. Black and white, yes, that's my jam. <laughs> I only started um, doing colored pencils uh, maybe six, three to six months, I forget when, but I started off doing um, black and white portraits only. And then I uh, expanded to colored pencils. Yes, Christopher, always with some sort of reference, whether it's a combination of two references or just one. Yes, I need references. I'm not that good of an artist to just paint or draw something from my brain. <laughs> I need to see it to render it, you know, like I, I need evidence. Maybe one day I'll be good enough, but I have to train to do that. Can you can you draw um, or paint um, just from imagination? Oh, okay, Christopher, thanks. Thanks for uh, chatting. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, I'll see you on Patreon. Okay, all right. Give uh, Honey Boo Boo a kiss for me. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want to... Add some textures to these these um, kissable jowls. So my trees slow, slow, like they are from another. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Rum fluff, I would read re reference, I believe, like you though, with lots of experience, it would be like muscle memory and po possible to produce something from that experience. Oh, thank you. Yes, definitely, lots of muscle memory. I like, I like that, muscle memory, definitely. Are you an artist too, Rum Fluff? I like your name, Rum Fluff. Ah, oh, thanks, Christopher. Yes, we'll do. We'll do. Hopefully, I'll talk to you again soon, or at another time. You're an artist too? Okay. Rum Fluff has a story. Okay. Please, please tell your story if you don't mind. What's behind that name? Rum Fluff. Nope, oh, gotta sharpen this again.
Your dad called your brother Bumfluff. Oh, got it. Okay, Ruth. Well, hello, Ruth. I'm sorry to to read about your um your brother. Ah, yes, yes. That's right, Ruth. Yep, I agree. So what kind of art do you do? Okay, um, should fill in this area right here. Oh no, Minimac, your chat isn't working. I see that. Were you typing other things that I didn't see? Maybe you need to restart your phone or your computer. You've done rum fluff, weirdly. I've done a box or two. That's what attracted me to this tonight. You're currently doing an MA in illustration. Can give link to my developing website if you want. Go for it. Please share. I'd love to check your stuff out. I actually majored in illustration too in art school. So there you go. It was meant to be. We were meant to meet. We were meant to meet Rum Fluff. I've met so many cool people online while I've been drawing. All over the world. It's awesome. That I wouldn't normally meet if we didn't have the internet. Oh, Minimac, you know why? It's because I'm also streaming on YouTube. 
That's why you don't see everybody else's comments. I have people on YouTube watching me as well. But I'm glad you're here, Minimac. You finished your second module yesterday. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. Second module. What does that mean exactly, though? <laughs> Is that like a video lessons? Is that what you mean? Modules? Or just website pages? Yo, my slime, what's that? Yo. That's a very strange opening. Professional practice had put together a bit. Oh, okay, an artifact, interesting. Oh, no, Minimac, you're fine. You are fine. Yeah, um, yeah, it seems like you're the only one that's, uh, not shy to chat. Okay, let me see here. I'm trying to determine what to do next. I think I want to... Do some of this action around here in the, the chin. Quirksy. Yes, I'm still a baby. <laughs> I'm a child at heart, if that's what you mean. I'm not really sure what you're trying to say. So what kind of illustra illustrator um, or illustrations, what type of illustrations would you like to work on, Rum Fluff? Is it children's books, comic books? What are you going after? What are your goals? So there's different types of textures in the chin. There's like a smooth part. It's like near the, the lips up here. And then as it goes down, there, it's more fur. Got to figure out how to smoothly transition from one to another. Astrology aspects, signs, ebooks, thinking of self promotion. If somebody wants some collab commissions, we'll go with the flow. Nice. Hey, yeah. That's what's nice about freelance work. You can choose your projects, or they choose you, you know? Just 
So many textures, I love it. That's the other thing with doing dog portraits. They keep you on your toes. Like there's so many different elements to them. Their faces, fur direction, textures. It runs the full gamut. And it definitely never ceases to amaze me. All the different features. Dog portraits. What else is, uh, what are you guys up to this weekend? Anything? Anything fun? Just relaxing or working? I'm definitely working this weekend. <laughs> the next two weekends are going to be working. Trying to finish my Christmas commissions. And then a break. Oh, thanks. Um, thanks, Ruth. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, yeah. I feed off of the energy from you guys, too. So I uh, try to give it back. And you're knitting dolls for your granddaughters. Ah, Christmas. Ooh, knitting dolls. Wow. How do you knit dolls? That's that's interesting. That's uh, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. That's amazing. I wish there was a way for me to see these knitted dolls. How old um, are your granddaughters? So I'm creating this transitional shade from this dark area into this highlight. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, Minimac. Yes, awesome. Thanks for joining on YouTube. I was wondering where you were. There you go, now you can see everybody's comments. Although, not many people, I'm talking to Ruth right now. Everybody else is either taking a break or being shy. It's all good, it's all good. No worries. Polsky with Delek. 
Polsky Widelik is Minimac. Okay. It's so hard to keep all the usernames straight. It's so confusing sometimes. So you gotta render out some of these dark patches underneath the lips. So when are you going to do another drawing, Minimek? I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'm wondering. Ooh, you're drawing an otter? Awesome. Yes. Otters are cute. They swim so fast. We saw one um, last summer, I believe, or maybe a couple of summers ago, we went to some, was it, what was it? It's a, it was a Disney, Disney, um, Resort. What was it? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, my memory. My wife would know, but what was it called? But anyway, yeah, I saw one up close and personal there. They're, they're cute. Are you going to post it on Instagram? I hope so. Oh, good. Yay. Yes. Yes, please. Share your work. Share, share. So people can find you. Make sure you use hashtags. Put hashtag otter, hashtag otter drawing, hashtag pencil drawing of otter, all the hashtags. That's how people organically find you. So, uh, oh, yeah, there's this um, marking underneath that's very cute. Let's uh, capture that real quick. Well, not really quick, but let's capture it. Oh, I need to sharpen my pencil again. Hold on. Let's see. So there are whiskers that go on top of these markings. I want to make sure I have room for them because they deserve to be seen. Oh, 
Okay. That's right, Mimimimek. Yes. Do it. You could do it. Just don't give up. And if you feel like it's not going your way, take a break, but don't give up. <sighs> like when I get stuck or frustrated or just tired, obviously, I walk away because you need that break time. You need to rest your mental load and your hands obviously and your body That's pretty good for now as far as blocking that marking in. Now uh, let's uh, render out this bottom part. Just have to move my uh, drawing a little bit so I could have a better angle. So it's really dark under here because it's underneath the mandible lips. So make sure you guys make it as dark as you can so these lips or these mandibles pop out. Mandibles. There's fur texture under here. And fill that in. Definitely fill that in. a better angle. Looks pretty good. That's still, um, I probably will, I'll probably go back and add another layer of darks and 
grays and stuff, but that's pretty good to block in. We're getting there, getting there. Um, so this area, there is mostly gray, so I'll uh, do that a little bit later. I want to focus on the dark darks first. So there's like tiny, tiny fur flyaways under here. Make sure you capture that as far as details. Otherwise, it won't look as realistic if it's a straight contour line. all about the details guys if you don't add go that extra step of adding details it won't look as realistic as you would like it but then again it's the look that you're going for so actually one that goes like this make sure you're constantly looking at your reference photo I can't say that enough There you go, there's the mandibles. There it is. There's the boxer look. <laughs> Very distinguished boxer look. It's all about the mandibles. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil again. I am going to finish off this area. So there's a lot of intricate wrinkles and folds in this area. So I want to make sure I capture them correctly. So there's one wrinkle. Here. And then there's one that comes down. up up here 
Here's another wrinkle that goes here. Dazman Live, hello. Dazman. That's an interesting name. How are you, Dazman? I am doing well, Dazman. I'm getting a lot of work done. And it's, uh, it's coming out. It's coming out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Oh, sorry. Accidentally kicked the cord. Oh, thank you, Dazman. I appreciate that. See, that's another reason why I like going live. I get instant feedback. <laughs> it's not just in my head. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you think it looks good? Okay, it looks good. Thank you. Otherwise, I sometimes second guess myself. I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. So. Yes, that's man. I went to school for art. I did. Four years I went to school. Actually, more than that. I, uh, I did a lot of art classes in, in, um, grammar school and then high school and then college. trying to think did I do I think I stopped doing art in middle school that's bizarre huh I wonder what happened there oh, man did I do any art in middle school wow that's kind of crazy I don't think I did that's okay Desmond I can understand you. So there is a whisker that comes down like so. Gotta block that in. And there's another one here that I'm gonna lightly block in. And I'll go over it again later. I just don't wanna forget about that whisker. I'm going to switch to dark brown, dark brown color pencil. And finish off this cheek. Thank you, Dazman. I appreciate that. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm hoping to finish by tomorrow. So pray for me. Cross your fingers. I finish tomorrow. Oh, you're left-handed too, Dazman. Nice. Yep. Do you do art, Dasman?
Does man is just in high school student, but I draw some things as well. Nice. What do you draw, Daz man? What do you like to draw? Sorry about that, I had to stretch a little bit. Stretching is very important when you sit at a desk as a living. You're hunched over a lot, gotta stretch. Oh, what's up, Jay? You're back on back to work on the pit? Nice. Good for you. Are you gonna go live or are you just gonna work in in peace and silence or with music? Manga. You like to draw Japanese style. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I like manga. Good for you. Do you um just do black and white manga characters or do you color them in? What do you do? Not sure you can get through anymore. What do you mean? Not sure you can get through anymore, Ruth. What happened? One Piece characters and Jojo characters. Cool. Okay. Two. Okay. I'm not sure what those are, but Jojo characters sounds, sounds very interesting. Wolfie Corn, hey, Wolfie Corn, what's up? How are you, Wolfie Corn? Trying to decide what to work on next. Hmm. Trying to, let me see, let me see. You know what? I think I want to finish the top of this area. Let's see, where is my pencil? You're good? Good, Wolfie Corn. I'm good too. I'm doing very well. Have you been drawing Wolfie Corn? Have you been practicing? Oh, nice. Finishing up some free art for your friends. That's awesome. Good for you. That's really nice, Wolfie Corn. Are they Christmas gifts 
for your friends or you're just doing it for fun? Aw, oh, that's awesome. Those are great gifts, I must say. That's like true from the bottom of your heart gifts, you know? Handmade gifts are the best. It's so easy just to buy something online, you know? Can you say what this, um, these gifts are, or is it a secret? Okay, Wolfie Corn, go to class, have fun. Yeah, maybe, I'll, I might go live again later, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. If I'm not too tired. You're drawing a black lab and Doberman for them. Nice. Those are beautiful dogs. Well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck on your drawings. Maybe you can post, post them later when you're done. I would love to see them. Lefty too, Ruth. Nice. Lefty power in the house. Oh, yeah. That's right. Lefty power in the house. I love it. <laughs> Lefty. All the best to people. <laughs> uh... That is kind of true. I have yet to meet a left-handed person that I did not like. Finish off this beautiful wrinkle. Actually, I'm gonna switch pencils. First add this, this color for the highlights. Just add a little bit at a time. Don't press too hard. Make room for the other, other layers. Thank you, Rum Fluff. Thank you. Isn't, isn't this a gorgeous dog? I know. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Beautiful breed. I love this breed. And I'm not biased. <laughs> I kind of am. Can't get enough of this breed. Oops, actually. Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, changed my mind again. Sorry. Use this, this tone of color to get a little bit more shadows in here. One first stroke at a time. Your ex had one called Biff. When we split, I miss the dog more. He ran back to me and burst in the back door. Bless him. Aw, not forgotten. Yeah. Yep, definitely. I know, they just, uh, they just capture your hearts. Biff the Boxer, I like that. I like that name. Biff the Boxer. All right. Okay, okay, okay. What's up? Let's see, what else? Let's see, I've been live for, oh wow. I have been live for almost two hours. Two hours, guys. Look at that. Two hours. This whole section. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see. I'm probably going to end soon, guys. I'm getting tired. I need a break. I need to get some grubs. Um, yeah, let me finish off this wrinkle. That's, this should be a fairly simple task over here. Uh, thanks, um, Rum Fluff Ruth. Yes, very nice to meet you too. We'll keep following. Okay, yes, please subscribe so you get notified of my next live. And we can chat some more. That would be awesome and keep in touch. That would be amazing. I'm gonna, tr I've been trying to go live more often. So yeah, I wanna keep a consistent schedule. It's getting there, getting there. Just want to block in more of these wrinkles. It's 
all about locking in the wrinkles. Okay, I think that's that's a good good way to end it. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a break. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys again soon. Don't forget to subscribe or follow, all that good stuff. Bye. Bye. Bye, YouTube. See you again soon.